Good morning, everybody. Today, I will use my community address to speak about the recent events in our country that has come to the forefront. And as a public school educator, I find it to be alarming on several fronts. And I also see it as an opportunity for us to move forward and begin the difficult work ahead. Over the past several weeks, a great deal has already been said regarding the death of George Floyd at the hands of a Minnesota police officer. I believe there can be no debate about the killing of George Floyd. It was wrong and those involved need to be held accountable. The protests and the unrest that followed brought to the attention of this nation a frustration regarding the level of social injustice facing people of color in our country. Social injustice is real. Social injustice is wrong. And again, there is no debating that fact. In the days and weeks that follow, as an individual, we must begin the difficult work of self reflection. We must ask ourselves where we stand on the issues of social injustice. We must unpack our own belief systems and decide how we will react to all of this. On a larger scale as a nation, we must enter into a true dialogue on the subject of social injustice. Groups of people need to approach this, again, not as a debate, but a true discussion in which all parties have a safe place to discuss what they are feeling with no judgment. In November of this year, I attended a district professional development run by several students of color attending Saugus High School. These students articulated what it felt like for them being the few people of color in their schools and in their community. They spoke about the difficulty they had at times and how they found the resiliency to work through it. The room was full of teachers and administrators. As an administrator, I listened to these students, which caused me time to reflect on their message. For 40 minutes, I just listened. I was not being asked questions. I was not being asked to solve a problem and I just listened to these courageous students. I walked away thinking, we need more time to just listen. As human beings, there are moments we just want to be heard, to tell our side of the story, and to be acknowledged for what we feel. Horace Mann, the first advocate for free public education in this country, once said, education then, beyond all other devices of human origin is the great equalizer of the conditions of men, the balance wheel of the social machinery. As the first person in my family to obtain a college degree, I hold true to this belief. As an educator, I firmly believe there is no room for social injustice in our classrooms, our district, and our community. As a public educator, we have the power to create that great equalizer Horace Mann spoke of. But first, we must reflect upon our feelings with regards to diversity, inequity, and the policies surrounding us. On a personal level, I must have the presence of mind to be aware of my own cultural blind spots and be open to working through them. The first step I had to take was admitting I have my own set of biases, which I carried with me into a classroom, an administrative office, and into the role of superintendent. For me, I dealt with these issues by talking with people, hearing their stories, and sharing my experiences with them. By the end of our meeting, perhaps the bigger problem facing us were not solved but I believe we established a relationship which we could build on. There is no quick fix for social injustice. We must do what we do best as educators, 
begin the process of educating ourselves and our students to ensure moving forward, public education is the great equalizer for all students. We have work to do, and I'm committed to work with students, staff, and the community on this subject. We have a multiracial community that wants to call Saugus home. We have to make all efforts to hear those voices and create an environment where they feel comfortable in. I will end this by stating our guidance and adjustment staff are available. If students or parents need or feel they would like to talk to somebody, please reach out to our staff in our buildings. Reach out to the building principals. They can make the connections for you. This is not an easy subject to deal with, but now is the time to address it and begin the process of listening and moving forward. Thank you.